Hi, my name is Aiden. I'm 17 and I'm a citizen of Australia. Before I begin, I'd like to say that this video is entirely my opinion, and what I'm about to say is simply an observation of the legal issue regarding gay marriage. If you happen to believe that passing the law of gay marriage in Australia is necessary in order to allow equal rights for human beings, like this video and comment yes. If you disagree, comment below your reason and leave your full name. I advise you listen till the end to understand my standings on this topic. Before I dig into the gritty details regarding what has somehow become a highly controversial topic, I'd like to define what gay marriage is. Gay marriage is the marriage between partners of the same sex, marriage being the legally recognised union of two human beings. Given that being in a relationship means you are already unified with another human, it is only logical that the next step is having this recognised legally. To understand why people get married in the first place, let's take a look at a survey conducted by Relationships Australia in 2008. This survey involved 1,200 randomly selected candidates and consisted of data based on telephone interviews of the general population of Australia across all states and territories. The survey involved asking Australians the reason for why people get married and why people do not. The results are what's expected from something as simple as a legal recognition of unity between two human beings. 91% attribute love as being the main reason. Now, we all know that love doesn't discriminate, so why do we? Why is something that's celebrated every day by human beings around the country, the unity of two human beings, not allowed legal recognition? Why should one human being have more rights than another? Hang on a minute, I'm feeling a bit of deja vu here. Oh, that's right, black civil rights. Before the large-scale protests and civil rights movement of the 60s, individuals with darkened skin colour, human beings, were oppressed by those of higher authority. Although I know it wouldn't be fair to make the comparison of what's happening now to what happened in those times and beforehand, where being dark-skinned meant a great deal for your quality of life, a similarity can still be found in the way that issue was resolved. Throughout the 60s, changes were made in Parliament affecting the lives of Aboriginal Australians for the better, most notably the 1967 referendum allowing the change of one section of the constitution and the complete removal of another. Section 51 was modified as to not allow the special laws to apply for Australians of Aboriginal descent, taking one step closer to equality for all Australians. Fast forward 48 years, and this fight for equal rights for all Australians still exists. Some argue that gay marriage shouldn't be allowed, and many argue that it should, but at the end of the day it all comes down to equal opportunities. Legal equality is an important characteristic of democracy, Australia's current system of government, and if marriage is not allowed between two human beings of the same sex, then equality does not exist. Thank you so much for listening as long as you have, I'm glad you were able to hear out my opinion. And remember, if you agree, like the video, share it on Facebook, get this seen, I'm sure most of us would like to see this issue resolved soon. Once again, thank you very much for listening.